Hello, 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 guys! Welcome to this new edition of Mind Podcast. This is Adit Kapadia coming to you on yet another uh, episode. I wanted to say weekend, but this time we have done it a little quickly because topic was like this, podcast was like this, and guest was like this. And sorry, I slipped into Hindi, but uh, but that is the essence of every conversation I ever have with my guest Sudhir Kumar. Uh, so today, from joining us from the Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation, is as Sudhir Kumar. Uh, he is a an author, columnist. has written more than 150 pieces for mind makers that is more yeah. than more than all the co-founders of mind have ever managed together so <laughs> you you I, i i can tell you that sudhir is a more important part of mind makers than all of us are <laughs> fantastic columnist great political mind and uh, today he is not just here as an analyst he is also here as a hyderabadi because he is here to break down the results of the greater hyderabad municipal corporation elections welcome to mind podcast sudhir uh, thanks a lot adit for that for that intro yeah i have enjoyed writing for mind for so long ha <laughs> चलो अच्छी आदतें वैसे भी अच्छी आदतें वैसे भी भूलनी नहीं चाहिए सो आफ्टर 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 दैट वेरी नॉट सो सटल अटेम्प्ट एट सेल्फ सेल्फ प्रेज आई Uh, we'll go straight into the results so so here is why okay people might think ki why you know aaj tak we talk about the uh, bmc results the delhi mm. mcd results which is the bombay delhi municipal mm. why are we talking about the hyderabad results right As- essentially it's just a municipal corporation results but mm. and i'm i'm coming to sudhir for his initial thoughts on it but my take is that this is actually because this we were looking for whether this represents a growing trend of the te- state of telangana seeing the formation of a new dominant political force as an alternative to the trs because we saw that in the 2019 elections where bjp actually won four lok sabha seats much better than expected to do in 2014 with when they were in alliance with the great uh, uh, the greatest chandra babu naidu you know i should uh, uh, at no, the risk nine, of 14 they were not in alliance yeah. Oh, sorry, oh, no, no, no. In fourteen, they were. Oh, okay. Yeah, Lok oh, yeah. Sabha, they were. No, no. I thought you were saying TRS. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. With, with yeah. the great, ah, the greatest yeah, yeah. Chandra Babu <laughs> Naidu. I, 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 I have to, I have to call him so that his fans like me. Uh, 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 <laughs> if you haven't faced the wrath of Chandra Babu Naidu fans yeah, like Sudhir yeah. and I do, ask me. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing. Um, yeah. uh, but, but no, no. Coming back to that. even then they only won one seat of secunderabad and then gave a close contest in one or two but in 2019 they won four lok sabha seats they gave a very tough fight in two other lok sabha seats and um, now we are seeing in hyderabad which is uh, a, a fant- an emergence of a political alternative so before i show you the numbers i want sudhir to tell a little bit more about that and then we'll go straight into the numbers yeah actually uh, you know i was very surprised when the english the english media that calls itself national media uh, suddenly woke up and started commenting uh, what is all this noise about just a municipal election why are you know why is amit shah coming you know yeah yeah uh, suddenly yogi where, where is yogi coming from what what job does yogi have in hyderabad and easily even the trs picked it up gully uh, gully election ke liye the delhi se kyu aa rahe log are baap re they started that and uh, that is a very uh, hyderabadi jibe to make <laughs> gully uh, yeah, right, right. only gully yeah. election <laughs> which is what surprised me given a couple of facts right one uh, just the voter uh, registered number of registered voters in ghmc 75 lakhs this this mm-hmm. just number of registered voters right so population can be at what 1 1.2 crores easily mm-hmm. yeah uh, so that's about nearly one third of what telangana is right now i mean the whole uh, one third of the whole state which is what is going to elections right <laughs> and uh, how many assembly seats are in telangana like uh, i'm sorry uh, in hyderabad in the hyderabad? GH, this area covers about 26 elect, uh, uh, assembly seats assembly seats okay yeah 26 28 you know and then uh full three lok sabha seats and then partial seats from the outskirts essentially one or two <coughs> so jurisdictionally about five lok sabha seats get covered but three full within this itself huh. so it is not a definitely definitely not a small election in terms of even for the, just for the state of telangana in one hmm. uh two the trs itself has put in nearly uh, the entire cabinet was in charge of many divisions right i mean they were given sections in the entire cabinet mm. uh, of course being led by uh, ksr san and the municipal minister ktr right? mm. 
mm-hmm. and then K- KCR himself had you know press conference. He was the one who released the manifesto. This was all even before Amit Shah even was planned to come. I think. Mm-hmm. So the definitely the election was not a small election. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a big big election. The reason I thought they made it just a municipal election was because the landslide TRS won in 2016, right? 99 seats out of 150. Mm-hmm. MIM anyway will keep winning 40, 44 seats, so mm-hmm. that is anyway not. So that landslide maybe, be, but it was frankly surprising when they came in and then they said it's uh, just a municipal election. Why is Amit Shah coming? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. And then the moment it they it, it started with you know Nadda is JP Nadda is coming, Amit Shah is coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, people understood it is a serious election for the BJP also. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely, and they were they were not taking it lightly. So, so no, no. With, without further ado, I'm going to sh- I'm going to share the numbers basically for uh, uh, you know uh, for our uh, viewers. So, everyone, you guys can see the numbers right here. So, basically, you have 55 seats for the TRS, 48 for the BJP, 44 for AIMIM, and two for others. This others also include the Congress. Right? No, no, the others is Congress. That's it. <laughs> yeah, there's this Congress. I don't know Sorry. why he put TDP zero and others. <laughs> no, China. This is this is by the way coming from News 18 website, so I am not responsible for the ads or anything that you guys see uh, on it. <laughs> so please, please excuse me for that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, so, so what do you make of this, right? And and we'll 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 come we'll come we'll come back to the seats, right? Uh, mm-hmm. uh, a reduction of 99 from 99 seats you went to uh, uh, 55, 55. Yeah. and virtually almost all of them are coming to the bjp bjp has gotten 48 yeah. huh, bjp Everything. has 4 yeah. and yeah. additional 44 are all coming from trs yeah <laughs> so can we conclude that bjp has uh, uh, I won't say replaced but come be merged as an alternative in the greater hyderabad area to the trs Yes, yes, yes. So actually, not just Greater Hyderabad area. Hmm. Um, uh, a quick, uh, uh, quick reference to the 2018 assembly election hmm. that happened. Up uh, the results of which came out exactly two years back, December hmm. 7th, if I'm not wrong, hmm. 2018. Hmm. TRS won 88 seats out of 119, right? hmm. Hmm. and then Congress hmm. was the opposition party. They won, I think, they won around 19 seats, hmm. Hmm. and they got the you know opposition slot right. and all that stuff. Right, right, right. And then 12 of those 19 MLAs joined TRS. Hmm. Basically merging, you know, if two thirds join, then it's not, you don't, you don't invite the, uh, the law, right? You don't have to go for elections. Basically. Fair. Right, yeah. right. So that's how he made sure one, there is literally no opposition party in Telangana, hmm. right? Hmm. 119 hmm. seats means you should have 12 seats to be recognized as a, you know, 10% leader of opposition, etc. Right. Hmm. He made sure that, that, that doesn't exist. I can tell you. So there is no leader of opposition in, in Telangana Tirana. State Assembly. Mm-hmm. They were elected, by the way, right? He mm-hmm. he made sure they jumped the ship. So the, so then, then let's uh, ha, no no uh, keep going, Sudhir. I was just going to sh- uh, share sort of the uh, screen uh, like the images like of what oh, okay. DHMC is. But no no keep uh, going. And I want to kind of just show that this is how this is how dominant. So. This is the 2020 and this is the 2016, yeah, right? Yeah, and yeah. and look at the pink, right? And that is all no, no, replaced by yeah, saffron. Yeah, yeah. yeah, saffron there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. and you have uh, because interest- this, this is, huh. no, once this once this uh, this uh, 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 killing of the opposition happened, right? There literally no opposition, mm. despite mm. people electing an opposition. Mm. Uh, is when the Lok Sabha elections came in, and then uh, yeah. already people were little upset with KCR's arrogance, uh, family's arrogance. Yeah. And so KCR's own daughter lost the MP elections to to BJP. Uh, and, and and if you if you look at this, you know the sad. And again, I apologize for the ads, guys. But this yeah. is uh, this is News Eighteen, not me. <laughs> so, uh, but they have the most detailed sort of thing, and uh, makes sense yeah. because I think TV Nine, News Eighteen, Inudu, they have the best sort of coverage uh-huh. on the. Uh, uh, thing. So, except for um, uh, Nered Met, uh, which has not been an- announced yet, I think all the other seats have been announced, 
and you can see there are a couple of pickups from IRS to uh, INC to TRS and then BJP to TRS and then TRS to BJP. So that has happened and there are also some that went from BJP to AIMIM. So what is interesting here is and mm. uh, and I'm going to go back to the full map, right? So this is this is the old Hyderabad region, right? Where yeah. Asaduddin yeah. OYC is dominant. And yeah. right here is your suburbs, which are like Sikandrabad and other regions where BJP mm. is doing well. But yeah. what about right here, right? This is this is this this borders this borders the part of Telangana where BJP was not traditionally strong. It was not, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, across so the, those are the also by the way the uh, areas that got impacted by the recent Hyderabad floods. Actually. Correct. Huh. And that's where all this. Uh, uh, so they came up with this unique thing uh, of distributing cash of rupees ten thousand to those affected. Mm. Hmm. Who and BJP did? No, no, TRS. The TRS government. Did. Did. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Okay. And I don't think we have to tell anybody what happens when you distribute cash, right? Yeah. I mean, ten thousand doesn't go to. The, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very, very straightforward. And then, so nobody got ten thousand fully. Uh, those who got whatever they got. Mm. Uh, they were equal amount, equal number of people who uh, uh, who didn't get anything and were you know very watchful for us on mm. Uh, mm. on 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 the media everywhere, right? We didn't get stuff, yeah. and then no corporators were seen. Mm. So so that didn't that, that didn't go well at all with the with the people, mm. uh, and then they realized this oh shit this is not going well let's let's you know uh, you you all of you come form a line in the me seva centers and you apply for the uh, uh, money and we will transfer it to your account, right? Hmm. Yeah, and so that, you make that people stand in line. Well. <laughs> yeah, that all goes well, right? You make people stand in line, then elections yeah. are announced, then they said, "Oh, elections are announced. Now we can't give." Exactly, that's what I'm <laughs> so, saying. That always, so that, that, it never, yeah, <laughs> never does. <laughs> so those that whole saffron also is because of you know. Yeah, because this is almost being... like you you see the interior, the very interior. So there are a few seats where you have a straight contest between BJP and MIM, which are within the part yeah. of the Hyderabad Lok Sabha, yeah, uh, yeah. where uh, Raja Singh also wins from Gosha Mahal, uh, yeah. Vidhan Sabha, right? There are and, some borderline areas where, yeah. It's, borderline yeah. where there is yeah. a the Hindu Muslim divide, or 50 yes. 50 or something. It's always. It's always BJP, AIM. But what is surprising, and, and uh, another expected region where BJP does well is Sikandra. Lok Sabha that because that traditionally BJP has always done well in, uh, in Sikandrabad. Traditionally, when yeah, mostly in alliance, but yeah, they have a good base in Sikandrabad. Huh, but that is more of your urban sort of things. It has the Jubilee Hills, Banjara Hills, all those areas within yeah, the yeah. Sikandrabad Lok yeah. Sabha. Yeah. So uh, uh, you have or but but here is the thing now because most people were accusing uh, 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 this uh, BJP of making this into a national sort of issue and so forth, right? So do you think that is the case, or did they not? You know, did they actually make it very localized? No, uh, no national issue was brought into picture during the whole of the campaign, right? Just yeah. because leaders outside of the state came in, it doesn't become a national election. I mean, right. they are they are a national party. They have popular leaders uh, in any campaign you would want to bring your most popular leaders and right obviously and you uh, no 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 it was it wasn't revolving around you know things like economy or 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 security of the nation or something like that uh, election the campaign was localized uh, was targeted against trs uh, or against mim uh, and if you are targeting mim the campaign will get communal right i mean mim MIM ke saath ladna hai to what topics you have i mean they they don't release a manifesto uh, they they don't have an agenda uh, uh, so it, it is very obvious that you will have to talk religion based issues when you when mim is involved what? no no I, people forget people yeah. forget that mim is communal I yeah mean, exactly yeah, mim is communal yeah i mean right? there is then, just uh, but but uh, that communal is also you saw that you saw in the map also you see right? it's restricted uh -huh. to that particular area outside uh -huh. of that if you go and do communal who is who's going to vote for you if you do that stuff nobody's going to vote uh -huh. for you right i mean uh -huh. kilometers away from that if you you, you don't do communal politics uh, kilometers uh -huh. away from there right? uh -huh. so there you they, so the 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 local issues did get discussed uh, state uh -huh. level issues did get discussed uh, of course uh -huh. the manifesto had too many things that you know as if they were releasing it for a state election but Mm. But but by the time the manifestos were released, it, it didn't make any difference, basically. Mm. 
Absolutely, absolutely. Before I get to you, Sudhir, one mm-hmm. disclaimer I have to make for all our listeners on SoundCloud. Again, I apologize, but I cannot, I have no way of showing the graphics on an audio <laughs> podcast. So you will have to go on YouTube yeah. on uh, on that. But but the discussion and analysis, obviously, you can listen to it on SoundCloud. Second thing, a lot of people will say, why have you not covered the farm bills and farm agitations? Guys, please go to the previous podcast. I did a 45-minute show with Ashish Chandorkar just talking about the farm bills and farm agitations and everything. And we've, we've, we've actually covered everything possible in it. We'll do an update in the next podcast. But this, we want to keep it focused on hardcore politics because this the impact of this is so much on Telangana elections. And and, and I'll let Sudhir complete his point after and then we'll go on uh, Telangana. Sorry, Sudhir, I have to make that disclaimer before no, I get no, no, no. trolled in comments. <laughs> no, no. They, they got a farm bill also here saying when farmers are agitating, why huh. is Amit Shah coming to Hyderabad and campaigning uh, in Hyderabad? Does yeah. he not care about farmers? Bolke, that point also <laughs> was hmm. first brought in here anyway. Exactly. Yeah. But, but how do you view yeah. this in the state elections? How how translate? Because Hyderabad has what, about a sixth or a fifth of the total seats, right? I mean, this is about 26 Vidhan Sabha, but there are constituencies in where there are a few segments here and there. So I would say about at least 35 Vidhan Sabhas it will impact. No, right? no, yeah. In more than that, it's, it's also about the population. Right? You have, if you have 75 like registered voters, I mean, you're mm. looking at what, 1, 1. 1.2 crore worth of mm. population. Just in this in this GHMC uh, GHMC area, right? Uh, so so to answer that question, right? We go back to the uh, earlier argument. There, there there was literally no opposition in Telangana for for uh, uh, for KCR by the time the Lok Sabha elections were coming in, right? And then BJP 17 seats. May he said, I will win 16. One our friendly party MIM will win. Uh, a lot of people actually thought there will be a landslide. Of course, not 16, but they definitely thought there will be a landslide. Right? Yeah. But yeah. what ended up happening is four seats BJP won, three seats Congress won. So mm-hmm. it's not like BJP over to Congress immediately mm-hmm. there. Right? Mm-hmm. But the seats BJP won, one they beat, uh, in one of them they beat KCR's daughter mm-hmm. directly. Right? Mm-hmm. The second one they beat where KT, KCR's son was the in charge for the Karim Nagar seat. Mm-hmm. So it basically they hit him where it hurts. Essentially, hmm. right? exactly. that daughter, uh, own daughter is losing, own son where he's in charge is losing, is, is where it where it hurt them a lot. Right. Uh, so he tried to do some, you know, course correction, uh, etc., etc. Hmm. Uh, Absolutely. Which is when, yeah. And, 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 and here is here is what I want to share uh, uh, share with our uh, friends, you know, watching and listening to the podcast. Uh, some more data, guys. Uh, look at look at this right you had you had kcr getting about 41 percent of the vote and bgp mm. by itself i repeat by itself by getting 19 and a half percent pehle it used to fight with chandra babu naidu in 2014 mm. this is what the situation uh, was this was you know uh, undivided uh, andhra pradesh at uh, uh, at that i'm sorry not undivided but just before 2014 it was, it was divided. undivided yeah uh, but elections were held in uh, elections were held in yeah undivided pradesh, right Ha, but KCR did did pretty well. You know, he got 11 seats and ah, then 11. he swept the elections and so forth. And then BJP won three seats. But out of those three, two were came from Andhra Pradesh and just mm-hmm. one came from Telangana, which was Sekandrafan. Right. So yeah. then when we go in, uh, 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 when we go in, uh, unfortunately, this uh, 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 right here, sorry. When we go in Telangana, uh, you see these four seats, right? You have uh, Adilabad, Karim Nagar, Nizamabad and Sikandrabad. So Nizamabad was the crucial one where Dharmapuri Arvind uh, defeated uh, uh, K. Kavita. So yeah. how significant was that, uh, uh, Sudhir? And oh, that what... was big. Nobody was expecting. I mean, I mean, I'm sure people in the party knew there'll yeah. be fight and all that stuff. But uh, nobody meant, sorry, I mean, no analysts or anybody outside of those constituencies hmm. never imagined, uh, you know, it's the chief minister's daughter and the chief minister just had a landslide victory four months back in the assembly mm. and then you you wouldn't expect you would yeah. expect that to happen right and, so, and, and and guys i apologize uh, this is just quicker to show in this format uh, this is pretty accurate data because that's why i'm not going to the election commission of india spreadsheets it's just easier to show it on the wikipedia link so uh, uh, a lot of people will be like why, why are you showing this but but look look at here right in 2014 the bjp had 21.79 percent votes in alliance with the tdp 
Hmm. By itself, now it got forty-five point two. That's yeah. a swing of twenty-three and a half percent. Yeah, it's yeah. unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Yeah, you see, it, it also stresses the importance of choosing <clears throat> the right candidate, grooming the right candidate, exactly. And then using party mechanism. You know, it's it's always a combination of both, right? Hmm. It never Modi will win you all elections, or you know, Amisha campaigning will help you hmm. automatically win. Uh, so a lot of things went right in terms of who they chose. Uh, hmm. Arvind Dharmapuri. For those of you who don't know, his dad was PCC president uh, in both 2004 and 2009 when Congress won the AP election, right? Mm-hmm. And therefore, even the national elections. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, so he's not a small guy in terms of you know, having political base. Absolutely. And and and, and if I go to Arvind Dharmapuri, by the way, was very clear. I he, he's never been in the Congress. Yeah, He's been a fan of Modi, and so he, he was very really clear on, on, on. So that. again, yeah. same, same, same for Karim Nagar, where it yeah. was nine point nine point zero eight percent, and then uh, Bandi Sanjay Kumar won won a twenty four and a half percent swing, right? It's I mean this is this is unbelievable. By so, the way, Karim Nagar was once represented by KCR also, so ha, it's not yes. a small feat that they won. Essentially. Exactly. <laughs> so, and I, I personally think. And in 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 Malkajgiri, Nalagonda, and Bhongir also in the next elections, right? They also had D K Aruna from Congress joining the BJP, yeah. who will who who also came very close. So I think yeah. this is this is this is very interesting, you know, uh, 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 what we are going to see, and um, you know, let's see basically. And right now, again, this is another thing. They only have one seat in the assembly. In th- in in, uh, uh, no. yeah. in Telangana assembly, and um, I it's think actually have... it has to change now, but yeah, this was the election result, right? Yeah, that's yeah. why I wanted to bring the second point is hmm. so the second jump that the BJP got after the Lok Sabha election victory hmm. is the recent uh, assembly bipolar victory in. Uh, in Just Dupak. coming to that, yes. Yeah, so that's where the party also realized the nineteen victory was not a flash in the pan. Right? It's hmm. not, it's not hmm. a one-off thing that happened. Uh, uh, they they can win election. Dubaka is also important. Why? Because the three neighboring constituencies, one belongs to KCR, mm-hmm. uh, the other one belongs to KTR, mm-hmm. and the third one belongs to the nephew Harish Rao. So it, it, that's why Dubak the, the the victory in Dubaka was uh, very significant in terms of somebody uh, beating KCR in his own turf. Not a small thing at all. Yeah. Uh, margin was about 400 votes, but 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 that that shows how the how how the fight they put up. Uh, yeah. The first time in six years when an opposition party could stand up uh, to the mighty KCR. That's the first time mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. it happened. Right? And mm-hmm. then after that came GHMC almost immediately uh, mm-hmm. within a month essentially. Right? Yeah. yeah. And now now we you all, you all, we all saw the results. Uh, Definitely, mm-hmm. it is a defeat for TC uh, TRS. There, there are no two ways about it. Uh, uh, how how the BJP has risen uh, from being marginalized <clears throat> in the 2018 election to becoming a strong force now? Uh, mm-hmm. It definitely not. It, it has it it will alter how the political discourse of the state is going to happen going so, forward. So, mm-hmm. So let's look at this in the state assembly perspective, right? How do you think? How do you think that will? Uh, how do you think that will change? Uh, nothing in terms of state assembly will 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 change uh, right now. We still have KCR still has his hundred MLAs. Uh, no, no, no. Let me qualify that question, Sudhir. I don't mean. I'm saying that uh, BJP won up close to 20 to 25 Vidhan Sabha segments, 21, I think, in 2019, right? And now uh, after this, no, no, they are. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, they are okay. okay. Yeah, if you, tra- if you convert the Lok Sabha seats into Vidhan Sabha, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you project this uh, Greater Hyderabad win and sort of say that they retain some of them, they are very close to where they were in 2019, maybe even stronger, right? Mm-hmm. So so do you think that in the next elections, if they work, mm-hmm. they have a chance of getting 40, 45 MLAs? Yeah, yeah. If they, yeah the, the challenge to the assembly election is very different also in terms of uh, once we, if we quickly go back and understand why he won a landslide in 2018, mm. because he solved two fundamental issues: one, power; or two, water to mm. the people of that state. Right? Mm. That was what was primarily bothering uh, bothering everyone. Also, right? mm. so if he continues to focus, it is an uphill task. Mm. But uh, 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 if they work, continue to work like this, 
if they mm-hmm. continue to showcase one now they also are in a position to make some difference in at least some places right bjp has two mla seats and then this this mm-hmm. this 48 corporator seats mm-hmm. uh, and then for mp so it also depends on how they will work and then showcase both of it it's going to be very interesting it won't be a it it's not like okay chalo they won ghmc today 20 23 they will win oh. it is definitely <laughs> definitely they're not going to be like and that and of course they have to face because ultimately the bjp local bjp also was ridden with factions where there were uh. faces pulling in multiple directions like yeah, yeah, yeah. I, i i used to call it the party with more the the local unit with more leaders than voters what <laughs> yeah 18 may the the the, the danger was there that they will in fact become like that <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. they even lost amberpet right or is that the only no, they won? no no they won only raja singh ha uh, ah, exactly yeah, goshamayal yeah, yeah. is the only one they won amberpet so, also was uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, and so now kishan reddy of course is in the center so then we no, yeah, yeah. no how we, you know that that 2018 december to 2019 april hmm. how the exchange it, 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 it's it's fascinating Uh, how KCR got arrogant, and you know how people tapped into it, and it went there. It, it, you know, so there is a very interesting thing in India that into if you see if you see elections, people who have advanced the elections, they either have lost the elections, or after they have won, after advancing the elections, they have been beaten very badly. It's, uh-huh. it's, it's, I, I don't know what it is, well, but somehow <laughs> advancing the elections never ever works. कुछ ना कुछ होता है इवन जीएचएमसी वाज एडवांस बाय थ्री मंथ्स बाय द वे सी दैट्स दैट्स व्हाट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इट इज इट इज अ गिवन व्हेन एवर यू एडवांस द इलेक्शन एंड आई डोंट नो व्हाई दे कीप डूइंग दैट राइट इट इज लाइक इट इज लाइक आईपीएल दिस ईयर द फर्स्ट हाफ एवरी टीम हु वाज बैटिंग फर्स्ट वाज विनिंग येट पीपल केप्ट विनिंग द टॉस एंड चेसिंग chasing <laughs> <laughs> till till like after 15 games they realized oh we should not be acting so stupid so let's actually start <laughs> so 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 that's the thing right so it's yeah. it's uh, um, and and uh, for all the non cricket lovers uh, i will never pardon for my cricket metaphors wo paate hi rahenge so there is a big cricket and a biryani lover also yeah, I know. so <laughs> so but tell me in in hyderabad does the majority of detailed uh, serious political analysis happen in biryani shops where people over no, no, biryani no, no, no. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of focus on the biryani when you acha i see <laughs> so uh, unlike other states no, you, don't, you don't yeah, fo- you don't no. talk politics when you are eating food no no not at all <laughs> <laughs> um but, but tell me this what what do, what do you view like how does where does chandra babu naidu go from here is he completely finished no, no, in telangana no no he was he was finished long time yeah he was finished in 2018 itself yeah. Hmm, hmm, hmm. yeah i don't know why they put up they put up candidates in 106 divisions uh, hmm. awards right now i don't know why they did it uh, hmm. uh, nowhere not not more than 1000 votes anywhere uh, uh, no idea why not that they cut into bjp vote they would have anyway gone to trs so maybe mm-hmm. cut into trs votes more than bjp tdp mm-hmm. uh, fans will not vote for bjp anytime soon so mm-hmm. uh, yeah. but if you see what was results right uh, not more than 1000 at any place mm-hmm. at some place 100 150 you know uh, you yeah, know stuff like that mm-hmm. so maybe yeah no idea why he he's a he's a non player anymore <laughs> also the bjp <laughs> I, mean, i i cannot believe this is yeah. a man 15 yeah. years ago or, t- or mm. 20 years ago 1999 in our lifetime got mm. 29 out of 30, 40 seats in uh, uh, in high, in uh, andhra pradesh right yeah. 42 seats and bjp got 7 i mean they were like 36 out of 40 yeah yeah it yeah, yeah. <laughs> was and in 2014 he won the election became the chief minister of andhra pradesh and mm. won 16 lok sabha seats out of mm. 25 and 25. he's he's reduced and and he was considered to be this whole change face of hyderabad who yeah. has converted into this cyber uh. city and he's getting <laughs> 1000 votes per const- per ward in per ward I mean, yeah less than that also yeah <laughs> no he's I, yeah he's become fringe you see the, the, also why he became a fringe uh, yeah. and he also less than he also linked to how bjp grew in telangana also. right okay one he became a fringe because ksr in his election campaign in 2018 made it uh-huh. if chandrababu why do you want chandrababu naidu to come to telangana why does somebody from outside state hmm. have to come here and then governance do you want to go back to the bad days essentially right hmm. 
which also meant there was no regional leader within telangana to take on kcr for his oratory you know how he how he positions issues etc mm-hmm. etc right which is where how bjp also grew they found the uh, right set of leaders there is no one leader who can do it they found mm-hmm. the right set of leaders who can talk as aggressive as he is sometimes as foul mouth as kcr is right mm-hmm. kcr mm-hmm. will even do that as uh, we will use language in such a way that even if his foul mouth it will come out comical basically mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but they found leaders who can within the, from telangana right from who have been born brought up here you know generations are from here etc right? so mm-hmm. till now that was what also that was also what was lacking from the opposition parties there was no face from within the state who could take on him and his son basically mm-hmm. now they found that also there is no more outsider they cannot tell bandi sanjay is an outsider right or dr vin is an outsider of telangana yeah so yeah, exactly they amisha is coming from outside of telangana it doesn't fly because he has no stay amisha won't become chief minister of telangana exactly, right i mean exactly <laughs> so so that that's also one thing that the bjp played well in terms of understanding that they need leaders who can match his oratory also mm-hmm. exactly or, or you know his aggressive style of course everybody has their own they think but that's where they succeeded so far but but definitely uh, uh, we should make it very clear it is not an easy easy path at all you know kcr has 3 years for course correction Mm-hmm. Um, so we don't know what what will come in though <laughs> so so in, in conclusion right mm-hmm. you know uh, in conclusion and we'll we'll do a follow up of this right we'll we'll have a detailed discussion on this but in conclusion what 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 would be your uh, biggest take away from this i mean are undoubtedly bjp increasing its seats by i don't know 4000% Is <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't even know. Maybe, Wonders, yeah. yeah, maybe twelve hundred percent. I don't know. I was just, yeah. <laughs> I was just coming Wonders, up with a yeah. random number. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 basically, they went from four to forty-eight, and I think uh, yeah. they're still counting in a few seats, so that might go up or down. But no, I think they're done. Yeah, they're done. Okay, they're done. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so. Uh, what about the mayor right will KC, will kcr and mim ally and find uh, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. that that's for sure yeah uh-huh. <laughs> KC, prs needed 67 <laughs> seats to get a mayor on their own basically hmm. 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 Uh, they won 55 uh, mim has 44 so they will they will ally up there exactly everybody knows prs and mim are are friendly parties <laughs> they hmm. will ally when when it is needed so see hmm. that's the thing right so far KCR never needed any. KCR did not have an opposition. That is the biggest to take away from GHMC is that this is the first time KCR has opposition in the state mm. after it after you know it was formed and he came into power, right? This mm. is the first time he has it. He, he hasn't had it till now in terms mm. of you know receiving an electoral mm. setback mm. in terms of having to share power. In in a big place like GHMC, right? So yeah. and that will be the MIM. So it's not so, going to play so, well. So 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 all the leftists should be very happy. You know, for years they were whining India needs an opposition. BJP made that made sure that happens in Telangana. Sure, right? Exactly right. <laughs> so, <laughs> they should have supported BJP here, right? You need opposition. Opposition. This is the state where you need it. <laughs> yeah. So so here is here is what the left wants. Now they want opposition in um, they want opposition in. rashtra mm-hmm. which they got they want opposition in gujarat in rajasthan mm-hmm. in madhya pradesh but they don't want opposition in bengal in telangana uh, in, in kerala or uh, kerala or uh, uh, republic of kerala let's kerala. <laughs> So, because they they talk about Kerala like it's a oh ho oh, oh, ho Republic yeah, of Kerala. Yeah, I was like, yeah. what are you talking about? Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> and oh, Kerala is also like that. Kerala's Kerala's uh, Kerala Congress and the left sort of uh, you know they they are also aligning here left right. So they yeah, I don't understand weird. that. I mean, why they are fighting against each other? I mean, they can they might as well. Team up, right? And they no point. Ah, they, they can sweep the state then. <laughs> I <laughs> don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so. But 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 uh, the maybe maybe uh, I think Rahul Gandhi will go next year and make sure that the, the wave he spread across Vienna spreads all across Kerala. All across Kerala. So, yeah, but you but, know, uh, Congress won two uh, two uh, corporator seats here. Hmm. Uh, they display more commitment towards Congress than what uh, what uh, Rahul Gandhi displayed. That's actually I mean, true. You, you've seen that they they. uh they won on their own merit right without hmm, hmm, without hmm. invoking this guy and and hmm. I, 
Hmm. Anyway, I, I, Congress I, problem is here. Yeah, it's a fresh story, but, uh, but 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 here is the thing of, hmm. and here is the fascinating picture of Telangana in nineteen in two thousand nineteen ninety nine. Chandra Babu Naidu allied with the, in nineteen ninety eight. BJP won four Lok Sabha seats in undivided Andhra Pradesh on its own. So, I which saw. prompted Chandra Babu Naidu to ally with BJP in nineteen nine. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, in '99, they um, uh, allied BJP won seven. Uh, Chandra Babu won 29. In 2004, that prompted Congress to ally with TRS, and they give them five Lok Sabha seats. Congress won again 29 or 30, or and hmm. TRS won five. In 2009 Lok Sabha, uh, Congress went alone and won 29, and TRS and TR TDP aligned and both got completely washed. I mean, they got like six, yeah. seven seats. Yeah, very little. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come to that, ten years after 2009, and you know that uh, you have TDP and Congress being washed out in Telangana, and TRS and BJP who are on the fringes, mm, yeah. barely winning any seats. Now, why now the, the power, dominant yeah. forces. <laughs> That's, in 10 years 10 years yeah 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 <laughs> that that's very true yeah yeah that is the story of telangana i feel no very true very true the first story was when uh, trs went from nine seats in 2009 to being party on power in 2014 hmm. right first first big story hmm. and ever since this is the first time he ha- he had to lose You know, one election here and there is a different story right i mean one okay. bypass you lose is fine hmm. Hmm. but he had to lose he had to lose power Uh, he now has to ally, really, actually ally with MIM, hmm. and and cede space to uh, BJP. Yeah. So it, 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 that's why this is a, that's why this is a big thing. This is not just a municipal election that you know English media was trying to make it about. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. Uh, uh, one thing is for sure: I don't think BJP is. Uh, let's let's not forget. TRS is still the single largest party in GSM GHMC. Um, yeah. Uh, unlike media who forgot that BJP was single largest party in Maharashtra, we are not mm. frauds, so yeah. we will not forget <laughs> that. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> So TRS is still the dominant force in Telangana. There, there are parts yeah. of rural Telangana where the sentiment is more. You know, again, Telang TRS is like a sentiment party, like a JMM, Jharkhand Mukti Morcha, or things mm. like that, who have campaigned, right? So they are the, the, thoda emotional votes. Unko milega hi. Even mm. the ones that Congress did not, and, and yeah, people yeah. do view Congress as almost treacherous with how they sort <laughs> of how they did it. Nobody liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. True. I I still remember shutting the, the mics off and the blacking out of the Lok Sabha. That Lok was only Sabha, seven yeah. years ago, seven yeah. and a half years ago. But uh, uh, well, six six and a half maybe I think because thirteen. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, the, I don't remember December thirteen or something. But yeah. anyways, yeah. Um, what what the message is here is now mm. that BJP is on fertile ground, and if they project a good face. And run an efficient campaign. I think we are going to see a no. It will be very. They have to do. Yes, yes. It's it's a uphill task again because they have to maintain this consistency. Hmm. Uh, they also have to learn. Uh, obviously, many things to learn and groom other leaders. You know, speak more now on TV. You know, write more, uh, hmm. campaign more. I'm sure they're going to do pata yatras and all that stuff uh, hmm. uh, for sure. But it 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 is not going to be easy. For yeah. TRS also essentially, I, right? That, I agree. That's definitely. Agree. Now he knows. Now he's now he has a he has a competitor. Yeah, in 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 the in the in the immortal words of Bollywood singers, "Abhi to party shuru hui hai." Okay. <laughs> so, on on that very lame note, uh, Sudhir, any recommendations you have for our uh, listeners and viewers that to what to watch and stuff before we uh, call it a day on the podcast? Uh, what to watch in um, uh, any you know non political oh, like uh, movies uh, or what to read or something like that oh yeah, suddenly huh? Huh. <laughs> I, I, I i i watch so much on netflix that somebody when somebody suddenly asked me that question it's hmm. uh, difficult to get out a recommendation <laughs> huh. yeah, i'm currently watching line of duty and uh, of course the crown <laughs> yeah oh uh, yeah terrific yeah. show terrific yeah, show yeah both both are very nice yeah, yeah. fascinating hmm. writing there yeah hmm. yeah Recently oh, completed oh. this Australian show Wanted. Huh. Uh, very nice. I finished a, uh, a show called Berlin Station, which is on the com- uh, on the CIA, but a complete left yeah. perspective of the CIA. But oh, okay. Should- um, okay. <laughs> uh, people should watch it, uh, nevertheless. But uh, the Crown is very interesting because. Um, mm. I I I am very skeptical of the British royalty, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not like I'm not in awe of them like people in America are. Yeah, but uh-huh. 
but this time it focuses on the two people from the crown i actually do admire which is margaret thatcher who was the mm. prime minister of britain and princess diana actually if you see all their political episodes are very well written right i'm not yes. just this season yeah. but when it involves the prime minister and government yeah. and it, then I, I i feel that they didn't spend a little bit a uh, little bit of focus on uh, focusing on the economic development under thatcher because she did uh. a lot of on that but uh, that is also because the british left hates margaret thatcher more than they yeah, yeah, yeah. hate <laughs> she won election yeah you are actually right they never showed why she won so many elections yeah exactly she won so three elections going... right yeah. <laughs> so even in 1990 when they, when when she was ousted she won and uh, she won the leadership battle but she said yeah. she never won it by that much and she was mm. to, or usme bhi us uh, i mean the obe that she gets and uh, if you you'll get to that scene i mean ex- it's not exactly a surprise everyone knows mm. she was an obe yeah. <laughs> it was shown as a sympathy right but there was not a sympathy uh, i mean she exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was one of the longest serving prime minister of yeah. uh, britain but one of the best quotes about maggie uh, or margaret mm. thatcher you know as she was known maggie uh, as what mm. i've learned is um, once she was asked what is your uh, uh, favorite what is your most significant contribution to britain she smiled mm. and said tony blair and the new labor Okay. because <laughs> she not only changed the conservative party she changed the yeah. labor party to be to stop from being anti growth oh, yeah. and yeah. and i think jeremy corbyn is that so uk brits realized that jeremy corbyn was not going to take the labor party into a dominant uh-huh. position so they actually suspended him from the party mm, from his, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, the american democrats abhi they have elected somebody who's not a far left uh, like mm. biden although i have a lot of skeptical skepticism for him but abhi dekhte mm. hai what happens on that but as you can see sudhir and i started about telangana and now we are already talking global <laughs> politics <laughs> so <laughs> without further ado thank you so much sudhir for joining us yeah. this was great thank fun you. and thank you uh, adit for having uh, me yeah I, I, before the podcast i was telling sudhir ke 2 saal ho gaye i'm i'm pretty sure we won't wait for another 2 years before we do this so again we'll talk again yeah <laughs> maybe maybe we'll do maybe we'll do another one very soon and that we'll only talk about food because sudhir is a big foodie just like i am <laughs> you can see from the from the video uh-huh. both of us are <laughs> aisa mat bol are no no we, we we have reduced we have worked okay. on ourselves <laughs> you are supposed to promote me are yeah. who, who am i kidding we we are not yeah. we will be the last pro- people to uh, to, to project that, no yeah i know stuff. <laughs> so uh, um uh, for all the people who on on soundcloud the last 3 minutes uh, you might have just heard both of us giggling please view on youtube why we were we laughing <laughs> yes but thank you guys so much for joining us uh, we'll be back with more if If you have any questions about this, please write to us and please let us know if we want if you want us to focus on more issues. And um, if Sudhir, we get some comments or something, maybe we can take those comments and do another follow up podcast oh, on what yeah, we hear from our uh, lovely, yeah, yeah, <laughs> viewers and listeners. But thank you guys and thank you so much, Sudhir, for joining us. Thank you, thank you, Adit, for having Appreciate me. I'll see yeah. you. I'll see you on the yeah. next uh, slide. And guys on YouTube, please stay tuned. We'll be doing a lot of YouTube lives in the few we- next few weeks to come. So stay tuned for more updates. on that thank you